It is an unmistakable smell and when it happens to your dog, you need to get that stink out quickly. So today we're going to talk to Instructor Steve, or more appropriately Dr. Steve, about a formula, a proven formula that's going to get that smell out of your dog using ingredients you probably already have in your home. I'm Ken Steve. And I'm Dr. Steve. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. With the arrival of spring, uh, we thought we'd come here today and talk to you about uh, helping you should your dog have an unfortunate encounter with a skunk. Now, we all know that faint skunk smell when we're driving down the highway, but I can tell you from experience, if your dog actually gets directly sprayed or even a little bit indirectly, that smell is about a hundred times that. The first time I smelled it, uh, I thought that my dog had just come from a burning tire fire. It's that awful. And the interesting thing about skunk smell is the chemical makeup that makes it such a stinky substance. Now, I do look somewhat ridiculous in this lab coat. Vladimir's missing it. Thanks, Vlad. Uh, but the reason I'm wearing it is that we need to talk about the chemical makeup of a skunk smell to, to figure out how it is we can best break it down and remove it uh, from our animals. Now, skunk smell is made up of a chemical called thiols, and thiols are a sulfur-based molecule uh, that, that's what gives it the uh, burnt uh, garlic, uh, sulfur, and burnt tire smell, and it is extremely potent. The interesting thing about those thiols is our natural reaction is to put some water on it. Well, those chemicals in itself, with the addition of water and those oxygen molecules, actually increases the smell. So the worst thing you can do right off the bat is hose your dog down, unless you want things to keep smelling for quite a long time. Now, for a furry little creature, uh, that skunk smell is very potent. Even most predators, like bears, wolves, and coyotes, won't actually go after skunks. There is, however, one predator that will. The great horned owl actually has quite a weak sense of smell, so they're quite happy munching on a little black and white furry dinner. Now, one thing to keep in mind is it's never two in the afternoon when your dog has an encounter with a skunk. It's 11, 12 o'clock at night. You're laying them out for that last little bathroom break before you go to bed. So when it happens, you need to act fast. You need to look around your house for various things that most households have. Some of those include hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and dish soap. And in the right combinations, these chemicals can neutralize that skunk spray. What we're going to use is a quart of hydrogen peroxide. And I'm gonna take that, get myself a big salad bowl, pour that in a bowl, get that in there, and a quarter cup of baking soda. Now this is gonna to start to activate and add some oxygen. And then on top of that, to help lift that oily substance off the dog's uh, coat, is a tablespoon of dish soap. Now, once I've got that in there, I'm just gonna take it, mix it, and turn it into uh, a bit of a slurry. I like that word today because slurry is something good for putting on your dogs in this situation. Now, once I have this gathered, I'm going to get a couple of, of old face cloths because let's face it, once you've used them for this, you're not using them for your face again. You're gonna take that and you're gonna apply it to the dog wherever it has been sprayed and you'll feel it, you'll also smell it quite quickly. Once I've applied it, I'm gonna let it soak for five minutes. Okay. That gives that time, uh, those chemicals times to work. What it does is it actually oxygenates uh, that thiol, breaks it up, and attaches more molecules and neutralizes the sulfur smell. Now, I have found that one application works quite well, two applications works really well. So once I put this on, let it sit for five minutes, then and only then will I take my hose, rinse it off, get that dog nice and clean, do it again, and then give them another rinse. Now, once I've done that application twice and given my dogs a great rinse, uh, I will go back with a little gentle shampoo, like a baby shampoo, and uh, give those dogs just one more freshening up. Now, the interesting thing about that skunk spray and those thiols is there's always going to be a little residual for a while. Now, I mentioned off the bat uh, how adding water can reactivate them and, and uh, bring up some more of that smell. So you may find over the next few weeks, if it rains or your dog goes for a little swim, you might get a little faint hint of that skunk smell again, but don't worry, that fades over time. Now, like everything else, when it comes to our dogs we like to be proactive I will tell you that there are so many skunks around my neighborhood before my dogs go out at night I actually walk around my yard with a flashlight make sure there are none there but like anything else training really helps you with your dogs in those situations that happen to come up having a fantastic recall on, on your dog can really help and I know it saved me and my dogs a number of times now remember when it comes to skunks uh, there are lots of things that we can do to help and there are also lots of other remedies out there this is certainly one that I have found works well there are some commercial remedies out there available that people have had some success with I will tell you though, at midnight when my dog gets sprayed, I'm probably not going to be driving to the pet store right then. I'm going to look around my house for the things that I have. Now like all of our other videos, uh, we really hope this helps you and your four-legged family members in your day-to-day -day life. Now remember, skunks smell pretty bad, but it could always be worse. All those chemicals in that skunk spray, under the right conditions, are flammable. We could have little black and white furry creatures shooting flames out of their butts. 
If this is your first time on the channel and you consider your dog a member of the family, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every single week to help you spend some quality time with your four-legged family member. And make sure you hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any of our videos. And on that note, I'm Ken. I'm Steve. Happy training. Hey Ken, have you heard my stoke joke? No. Good, it stinks. Oh boy.